Before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to 287,000 subscribers by the end of the week, 288 by the end of, by the 15th and 290 by the end of this month, which I need 300k by the new year, and that will put us on, or by 2K23, and that will put us on great, great track. So anyway, now let's get on to the video. Lads, 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 this is unbelievable. This card is unbelievable. Lads, yesterday we got like a little bit of a disappointing card, I'm not gonna lie. We got a little bit of disappointing card. It's a disappointing card that I didn't even freaking do a gameplay. I don't even know what you need with Brandon Clark to get Kenyon Martin Jr. I'm not even kidding. I just didn't get Kenyon Martin Jr. Like, I genuinely, genuinely just didn't get him. I'll get him today because, my God, lads. Like, we've had some okay players. Like, Kenyon Martin Jr. is worse than Brandon Clark. But he was still pretty okay. But, lads, now, Robert... Reeking Covington. And if you guys know anything about Roko in 2K, you guys know this card is going to be a damn good card. And as well as that, Roko is a damn two guard. Roko plays at the shooting guard position, lads. That is absolutely nuts. Like, there are not that many guys that are going to play a defense like Roko at the shooting guard position because we all know how good Roko's player build is. So, if we look at, say, Roko from NBA 2K21, like, Covington was nice, like, like, his pink diamond card was nice, but yet his pink diamond card could not play at the shooting guard position. We have not, as far as I'm aware, had a shooting guard Robert Covington, or at least good shooting guard Robert Covington since this guy in NBA 2K, um, he was shooting guard, wasn't he? Yeah, in NBA 2K20. The only thing is that, like, Robert Covington was 6'9 in 2K20, Whereas this year he's six foot seven, which is a little bit disappointing, but still. Whereas last year he had a seven foot one wingspan, this year he has a seven two wingspan. So he used to be six nine with a seven one wingspan, now he's six seven with a seven two wingspan. So he's got a longer wingspan than last year as well. But look at this. I know obviously the half badge difference, 89 99, 89 99. So they're the same. Obviously a lot less half badges because that's just the way 2K22 is. But let's take a look at the stats. Robert Covington, 94 three ball. 88 speed, 88 acceleration, that's perfectly fine for a cone. He's at 95 lateral, 95 steel, 90 or 85 block, 91 interior. He's got limitless spot up. Like he's not gonna create. Like the only shooting badges he doesn't have are the creating badges. He's got 80 drive dunk, which is fine. He's got 86 speed ball. Again, he's not gonna dribble the ball too much. Min shot IQ, min intangibles. Guys, that's 10 half defensive badges. Corner special and catch two are perfect with range extender like and he's got hot zones everywhere outside the three so he's gonna shoot he's also got like ankle brace clamps interceptor menace he comes with brick wall which is huge intimidator off ball pass pick dodger pickpocket post lockdown tireless defender like, he's ridiculous i do know last year that like if you guys look i'm gonna guess that the 2k21 like if you look at last year's game i'm gonna make a guess and say that it was like the 8th of may 7th of May. So it's kind of crazy. This card was 5 KMT when he came out last year. Like, they really are slowing down. Like, the 7th of May last year was this card, and this guy was the 5th of May this year. But, we look stats-wise. The, could these be the exact same stats-wise? No, this one's a little bit better. Obviously, better badge-wise as well. Last one was a little better, but if we look at last year's one, uh, shifty basics here and very quick pro three behind the back. Okay, last year's one of better animations. Still though, for this time of the year, base 63 on very quick, it's not the greatest release, I just wanna put it out there. It's not, it's fine. Perfectly fine. But, Shifty, Kobe Escape, Harden behind the back. Harden's pretty good. Wait, does he come with dribbling badges? Um, no, nah, his behind the back's gonna be, well Harden's better than Trey Young's. Harden is better than Trey Young's lads. But this is a really good card. Now, if we're looking at two guard cones, he's up there. For me, does he make my team right now? No. The reason why he doesn't make my team is that I need my two, I would rather have my two guards creating. So I use Kazi and I use Desmond Bain as my two guards. So just because I can create really well with those guys and I, I don't miss with either of them. Um, they're like my two main creating players. And then like obviously my point guards are gonna be like Marcus Smart and whenever I get someone to back him up, are gonna be cones and my small forwards are cones. And I prefer, I think, 
I'm gonna be honest, I think I prefer, will prefer, what's his name to him, um, Mikhail Bridges and Herb Jones, because I love both of those cards. Uh, he's really competing with those guys at the small four position. But again, 95 pass inception, 95 on ball, 99 contest, 95 block, or 95 um, contest, 95 block. They're perfect tendos. Three tendencies are, okay, 82. So players are going to stick to him like damn glue. Like, if play, people don't go into settings, they can stick to him like glue. Roko is a really, really good, or he's gonna be, uh, either way, he's gonna be a really good Like, if you're just starting out the game, please do these challenges. Robert Covington is really good. Like, he's really freaking good. Is he the best player in the game now? But like, if we're looking at, say, um, let's just sort by, like, if we're comparing him, let's just say to freaking Kawhi. He's better than Kawhi Diamond. Put it out there, because he gets very similar defensive animations to a Kawhi Leonard. Let's compare him to Kawhi. So obviously Kawhi's better. Not arguing that, Kawhi's better. Plus seven speed, defensively, very similar. Like, very similar defensively. Um, you've got a slightly better shooting on Kawhi. Better post game, which doesn't matter. Rebounding Kawhi is a bit better. Um, Tendo's very similar. Kawhi a little bit better. Animations, I'm going to say it's 50-50. Like, Kawhi's better. But it's not like it's night and day difference. It's not like, obviously, if you're a freaking, freaking ties 50 half patch Kawhi, it's different. But if we're talking about, like, comparing him to Kawhi, if we're talking about just pure cones... I mean, he's he's up there. He's right up there. Like, if you really like Roko's release, you'll be able to use Roko at the very end of this game and he'll hold his own. He's that good on defense. He reminds me a lot of the 2K20 Diamond Roko. I know he was 6'9", but like, yeah. 94 three ball. Oh, are these the same card? Looks like, are these actually the same card? 70 post games, 86 super ball. No, no, slightly different. <laughs> slightly different, but they're very, very similar. Whereas this one, obviously, it's 17 halves. He has a bit, few more halves, but like, a lot less gold. And a lot less playmaking badges. Like, defensively, he was in. He was it. And this here, obviously, defensively, this card's going to be... Well, this card was pretty good. I and mean, this card definitely going to be it defensively. Like, I will say, like, if you've just started playing this game in Season 6 and you built a team just purely of zero gravity rewards, you've got an okay team. I'm sorry, outside of bigs, there's been no good bigs in the Zero Gravity set. There's been a lot of good guards. Like, I don't think Smush Parker is terrible. I think Smush Parker is usable in most scenarios. Vinny's really good. Will Barton is fine. Brandon Clark is good. Kenyon Martin is fine. Roko's really good. And still to this day, you can use DeAndre Hunter. Like, Roko versus, you know what? Roko versus DeAndre Hunter is a debate, and I'm not even kidding. DeAndre Hunter is that good. DeAndre Hunter is that good that I would put him in a debate with Roko, but that's it. Now, Roko is either the best three players by far in this set. Hunter, Vinny. You know, I'm going to put him in T there as well. And put Grant Williams, Hunter, Vinny, and Roko. These have been the four elite players in the set. He's been the four absolutely elite players. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Another player for the Zero Gravity Rewards. And man, like we're getting obviously our last diamond tomorrow. Next week is going to be nuts. Because literally we're going Monday through Friday is going to be Pink Diamond, Pink Diamond, Opal, Opal, Dark Matter. It's going to be an insane week. An insane week for content coming up next week. Pink Diamond, Pink Diamond, Opal, Opal, Dark Matter. That will be freaking nuts, lads. So yeah, another another really good card. Whereas Kenny Martin Jr. was okay. Roke, Robert Covington is freaking ridiculous he's brilliant lads he is brilliant so anyway that is the video thank you guys for watching madness absolute madness please like comment and subscribe